was gone yesterday. Maybe you watched the videos from CS61A. CS61A is Berkeley's introductory computer science course. So my seniors that want to go there, um, that professor is Professor John De Niro. I've met him in person. I've sh shaken that guy's hand. And he's, he talks like that in real life, too. Yeah, he's interesting. Um, and then you cover a lot more. Like your knowledge in like AP computer science like dwindles within the first month, and then you learn a whole bunch of wacky stuff. Uh, yeah, Berkeley knows how to do their computer science. At Davis, my AP computer science knowledge lasted me almost a quarter, so maybe seven, eight weeks in, and then there was new stuff. So it lasted a bit while longer. But maybe times have changed. That was like, what, eight years ago-ish? And the technology has gotten better since then. All right, on to the lecture. So functions. Let me explain a couple more things about functions. Your assignment this week is more functions. And they're a bit more complicated. And they do some pretty nifty things. Why do we even need function in the first place? Here's a giant list of things um, that are important. Right? This one I hope you notice when you're making grids. You group, assignment, you group statements together, making our programs easier to read. Because if we repeat a bunch of print statements all the time, eventually we'll get lost in that. Okay? We save the repetitiveness. If you find yourself copy and pasting, it's likely that you can make functions to abstract some of that away. Right? Programs become shorter because you're reusing parts, thinking uh, like what parts can you reuse. And then down here, later on, um, if we were to build on any of these programs, which we might, uh, you can use those later. Um, once you've designed it, you've tested it, you can forget about it because it works. And we take a step back, okay? Um, this reviews a lot of the things I talked about in your first quiz uh, about related to functions. The first keyword that you need to know, right, is function definitions. That's what def stands for, DEF, -E definition. Math class, we love using this. So here is a very simple function. All it does is print out some lyrics, right? I am, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. And thus, Notice, if we ran this code, it won't run immediately. You're not going to see anything on the screen. We have to call the function in order to use it. Okay? And we have to refer to functions by name. So specifically, we have to type in print lyrics and then have parentheses afterwards. Okay? But def is a keyword. Um, body and header, that stuff was reviewed. The, the header is the important part, right? The name and the keyword, def, and then the, the body is all the stuff in between. And that can be as long as compli and complicated as you want. There's no limit to how much things can be in a body. So functions can be used inside of functions. So notice repeat lyrics, it calls print lyrics twice. This is an idea you use later on in more complicated ideas like recursion in, um, sit down, okay. You can use functions inside a function. So this is like exercise number two. You know, do twice, do four. You use that exact idea. So keeping that on the side, this is going over specifically, if I were to type things into Python, how you would call them. Um, notice if these two lines over here weren't there, if you didn't call your functions, you would see nothing on the screen. Okay? I hope you're comfortable with this stuff so far. But now, notice, okay, and my projector cuts off a little bit. In the upper right hand corner, I've changed the order of my program. If I were to run this in Replit, what do you think is going to happen? Take a couple seconds, think about the output of the program in the box in the upper right. Um, repeat lyrics, then I ask the print lyrics, print lyrics, and then def print lyrics, and then at the very bottom, I call repeat lyrics. What's going to happen? It will um, yes. print lyrics twice. Yes, we, we wanted to print lyrics twice. However, the computer is going to complain. Right? Oops. You're actually going to get an error over here. And it's going to complain why. Right about this line, okay, repeat lyrics uses print lyrics. Programs go from top going down, correct? So when it gets to this line, it's going to complain. Hey, the computer is going to ask you, I don't know what it means to print lyrics. You haven't defined it, nor have you told me this particular function. If you compare it to what I had before, notice print lyrics is defined first. The computer knows how to print. Then we can define repeat lyrics, which uses print lyrics inside of it. Okay? This is OK, 
because how it's defined, it, the computer knows what to do. This one, it's too early. It's going to complain. It's going to say like, oh, function has not been defined yet. So you got to switch the order. There is the dependency that way that emphasizes code is read from top going down. The same applies for computer programming A. That was one of your quiz questions. The complicated part in this problem, right, and it was on your uh, quiz, parameters versus arguments. So, what is the difference? I don't think computer science A, that's the AP Java course, talks about this. I, I don't think it's going to be a multiple choice test, but there is a slight difference, okay? So, in the stuff up here, we refer to these as arguments. So, that's passing in a number, like here, right? If we were to use the sine function, it would look like this. If we were to use, instead of star star, use the uh, raise it to an exponent function, the power of function, it looks like that. 2 and 3 are called arguments. 3.14 over 2, that together is uh, still an argument. And then the important part here is, okay, what's the difference? So what, what's, what's a parameter then? So parameters happen inside a function. So over here, Bruce counts as a parameter. It's temporary. It's going to go away. Arguments back here, okay, like 2 and 3 and these things, those inputs, um, we choose what they are. Okay, and then print twice. Um, I think exercise 2 uses this definition. You just print something twice. So over there, we see how it works, yes? Notice argument spam, argument 42, argument pi, definitions up here. And notice right here, Inside we have an expression. If you multiply strings together, you can see that it repeats it four times. That's kind of nice. That's, I think, a, a Python specific behavior. Python does a lot of these things for you. In most other languages, you're not allowed to do tricky stuff like this. And then at the bottom part, you see examples of functions inside of functions, right? Functions can be arguments to things. And then what happens here? I think I'm trying to emphasize the point of um, the parameter and argument difference. So notice you have a variable, Michael. We print the, the, the variable Michael twice, Eric, the half B. So you see that sentence twice. And I think this is the part that emphasizes the difference between uh, parameters and arguments, OK? Arguments, I think, we'll use a lot more commonly, but here's the difference with parameter. Parameters are temporary. They're something we call local. They only exist inside the function. So here, cat twice, right? Cat is short for concatenation, not like this kind of kitty cat I drew on the board. Okay, We're putting together part one, part two. And that's what's going to be printed twice. So if we were to run the code, right? here are some gibberish, big tittle. Oh, bang. I, I said that wrong. <laughs> yes, be careful how you say things. So there are your two lines. Notice how things are now put together and then printed twice, yes? Yes. And then if we go back to our definition, we notice, right? I noticed. Yes, <laughs> we notice things. <laughs> All right. So crisis averted. Cat is a variable that's made temporary inside of here, yes? Okay. So if you try to access cat. Outside of that, it will Yes, it's not going to work. Right? It's going to say it's not defined. Yeah, so yeah. that's uh, a, a, a copy of a variable that only exists inside that function, which we called cat twice. All right, so then that's where I'm going to post my thing. So based on these two definitions, here's a practice quiz question. Which one's an argument? Which one is parameter, right? 50-50 chance. Uh, I think the one that's called Yes, and we'll yeah, find out next right. time on Dragon Ball Z. So I didn't make an answer. Okay, so then you did this when you were out in the sub. I'll review it later. Here's some more boring stuff. Uh, we talked about this thing, and I felt bad, which is why I threw away the question. Uh, I reviewed this too briefly. Floor division is just the integer uh, division, right? You only care about the whole number part. So that's this symbol. Right? 
And then the remainder function and computer programming, A, you've seen this uh, you know, throughout the semester with me last year, modulus, right? How do we just get the remainder? This ends up being super useful in computer science. If you're interested in cryptography, it uses it even more. That's the percent symbol. So it only gets you the remainder bit. So minutes, whatever that was, I think it was 105. When we divide that by 60, there's 45 as the remainder. So we can get that with one symbol, one operation, modulus. Oh gosh, I recognize that this is kind of long now. Yes. So why is this useful? The last semester and then computer programming A, you can look forward to this, is we made a dice game. And in my example, I was checking whether or not things were odd or even, correct? So instead of dividing things and then checking if the remainder is 2, I can use this modulus sign, right? If x percent sign y equals double equals 0, then we know it is divisible by even, instead of having one long string for that. Yes. Oh gosh. I'm going to pause it right here, OK? Because I've already talked for a long time. My lecturing stamina has dwindled. I need a quick break. So we're going to pick up with Booleans and then relational and logical operators. That was more stuff that you'll use. Like, think about coding that. Use a lot of this stuff. <laughs>